Welcome to my channel. I really do appreciate you coming here. I appreciate you watching my videos and supporting me and commenting and all the wonderful things that you do on my channel. I really do. This is today's daily news clips. The first item that I have is a headline that reads, Hamas leader says Palestinian deaths are, quote, necessary sacrifices in a leaked message obtained by the Wall Street Journal. Now, I've talked about this before. Uh, this guy is on record as saying that he'd be perfectly happy with 100,000 civilian deaths in Gaza. According to a Wall Street Journal report citing stolen messages, the top Hamas leader in Gaza who assisted in planning the terrorist attack on October 7th, acknowledged that he personally saw all Palestinian civilian deaths as, quote, necessary sacrifices in order to continue the group's war effort against Israel. The messages were translated into English. Quote, we have the Israelis right where we want them, Sinwar said in a message to other Hamas leaders, meeting with Qatari and Egyptian negotiators. Quote, only 5% of Palestinians think Hamas's massacre on October 7th constitutes a war crime. The poll found that 80% of Palestinians have not seen videos of Hamas atrocities, with 60% responding that the media they watched did not show them, the Foundation for Defense of Democracies reported. Even Sinwar, who has fought against Israel for most of his life, was also reportedly stunned by the heinous acts his fellow fighters committed. <laughs> Quote, things went out of control, Sinwar said in one message where he discussed the kidnappings of women and children. People got caught up in this and that should not have happened. Quote, as long as fighters are still standing and we have not lost the war, such contacts should be immediately terminated. We have the capabilities to continue fighting for months, Sinwar says in another message. We have to move forward on the same path we started, Sinwar writes, or let it be a new Karbala, he added. Karbala references a 7th century Iraqi battle where the grandson of Islam's prophet Muhammad was killed. So, the point is, there are Palestinians who are suffering horribly. There's no question about that. But the reason they're suffering horribly is not because of Israel, only it's also because of what Hamas is doing and Hamas is deliberately doing. They are going out of their way to create civilian deaths in the hopes that they will win the uh, sympathy of the world. That's what they're after. So keep that in mind when you're reading all these stories about all the horrible things that are going on. Okay, now, there to begin with. this next item, I'm going to stop, and we're going to listen to it. Now, this next item is a secret recording, if you want to call it that, uh, of Nancy Pelosi talking about what happened on January 6th, and it completely contradicts the narrative that the Democrats have established. I thought you might be interested in hearing it. We have responsibility, Terry. We did not have any accountability for what was going on there, and we should have. This is ridiculous. You're going to ask me in the middle of the thing when they've already breached the, the uh, inaugural stuff that, that uh, uh, should we call the Capitol Police? I mean, the uh, National Guard? Why weren't the National Guard there to begin with? They thought that they had sufficient resources. No, that is not a question of how they had been. They don't know. They clearly didn't know, and I take responsibility for not having them just prepare for more. We have... Interesting, huh? On January 6th, Nancy took responsibility for what happened at the Capitol. Few months later, 
She was blaming it all on Trump. The next item I have is an interview with Steve Bannon on Tucker Carlson. If you're not familiar with what's going on with Steve Bannon, he's been found in contempt of Congress and has been sentenced to prison and he's been ordered to go to prison. This is unprecedented. This has never happened before in our country until now. And now we have him and one other man, Peter Navarro, who are also in prison for um, for defying Congress. And by the way, Obama's attorney general was found in contempt of Congress, but they never did anything to him. So this is a clear case of one-sided, quote, quote, justice in our country. Uh, it's it's a, uh, about a 25-minute interview. I'll put the link in the description, as I always do, and you're welcome to watch it if you want to. Um, this next item that I have is a really troubling story. Um, you can see the headline. Um, a surgeon who blew the whistle on genital mutilation at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston is facing four felony charges. Now, I got to read this to you. Back in January, Blaze News shared this story of Dr. Ethan Haim, I guess that's Haim, H-A-I-M, a 33-year-old -A board-eligible general surgeon who publicly revealed that transgender-related medical interventions continued at Texas Children's Hospital, even after its leaders claimed they had been put on pause. Dr. Haim now faces four federal charges in connection with his exposure of Texas Children's, and Blaze News spoke with him to learn more details about his recent interaction with armed federal agents and his unwavering desire to see the truth prevail. Uh, my question is, this was a doctor in Texas who exposed a hospital in Texas who was lying about what they were doing in violation of state law, and now he's being investigated by the federal government? For what? What federal crimes could he possibly have committed? Since Haim first came forward about the continuing translated interventions at Texas Children's, He's been on the radar of federal prosecutors operating under the purview of the Biden administration. Last summer, on the same day that Haim was set to graduate from his residency program, two agents with the Department of Health and Human Services showed up at his home unexpectedly. They came to inform Haim that he was, quote, a potential target for a criminal investigation. Within 24 hours of the story's release, what we had exposed was voted to become illegal, and I'm the one being investigated, he added with bewilderment. Yeah, I'd be bewildered too. I don't understand what 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 is in the world is going on there. Why why is he being charged? What's he being charged with? And why would they even do that? It's how is the federal government involved in this in any way? I don't understand. But that's the world we live in today. And this is a free press article about the same story. I'll put the link in the description and you can read it for yourself. So that's today's news. I forgot to do my shirt today again. I'm bad about that. I know you have to forgive me, but I'm inserting it into the video now. So here it is. My body is a temple, ancient and crumbling. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. <laughs> I love this shirt. It reflects my attitude about myself pretty well. Uh, hey, I'm not afraid to admit I got some wrinkles. I got some age on me. And I'm going to have more, trust me. Uh, you look at me 10 years down the road. I won't look this good, I guarantee you. But anyway, just so you know what I'm wearing. As always, I pray for you. I pray that your life will be filled with joy and love and peace and hope and that every day will be a blessing. I pray for the same thing for every person that you love. 
This is the Vietnam Era vet out.